today's video, I am going to reveal the top 5 lost and buried treasures that are hidden somewhere in the Dakotas. If you're a treasure hunter, a metal detecting dude, or you are just interested in lost treasures, then keep watching. Right around the time that land treaties were being made in Custer's day, the Dakotas were a very lawless place. With newly discovered gold finds and bone towns like Deadwood, there were a lot of opportunities for bandits and thieves to make some quick money. With few lawmen around, making off with stolen loot was a pretty easy and fast way to get rich. Here are the top five lost treasure stories from the Dakotas where just one of these finds could make you more than a millionaire today. Lost Treasure Number 1 Our first story is about lost gold up on Bear Mountain. It is said that in 1879, during the peak of the Black Hills Gold Rush, there were a couple of gold prospectors who lived in a small cabin on the west side of Bear Mountain. This cabin was about eight miles from the town of Hill City. It is rumored that the two men had buried over one million dollars in gold nuggets close to their cabin. Some outlaw types heard about this buried gold in a saloon and then headed out to where the two miners lived. The outlaws told the two miners to tell them where the gold was or else they would shoot them. As the two miners refused to say where the gold was buried, they were then murdered. If this legend is true, then there would still be some gold stashed somewhere close to where their cabin once stood. Lost Treasure Number 2 This is about a huge cache of gold that was buried at Lane Johnny Creek. In 1879, there was a stagecoach running from Deadwood to Cheyenne with 450 pounds of gold bars. The stage was held up and the outlaws got away with all the gold. It is said that they buried the gold along the banks of Lane Johnny Creek a few miles north of Sturgis. Soon after, a posse caught up with them and they were all hung. This cache of gold was never found and could still be buried near Lane Johnny Creek. If this lost gold treasure is in fact real, it would be well worth someone's time to go out and hunt this treasure. This 450 pounds of gold bullion would be worth well over $10 million today. Lost Treasure Number 3 This buried treasure is from a stagecoach robbery where the gold is buried somewhere between Horsehead Creek and Canyon Springs. There is around $400,000 in pure gold bullion. It was in 1878 that a stagecoach was held up and robbed of the gold. The thieves got away and are said to have buried the gold somewhere in between Canyon Springs and Horsehead Creek. This was one of the largest stage robberies of all time. Eventually, a posse caught up with the thieves and they were all hung and each of them took that secret hiding place to the grave with them. Lost Treasure Number 4 in the Hat Creek District, there is a small stream located in Fall River County of South Dakota. There is supposed to be two different treasures that are buried in this area. One of the treasures is a strongbox filled with gold and silver bullion worth $45,000 from a train robbery. Somewhere along the banks of the Hat Creek is where the thieves buried the loot. One of the bandits was said to have bragged about it in a saloon in Deadwood, but no one knew the man or what became of him. There is also another story about some bandits that had a hideout near Hat Creek. In 1887, these bandits robbed a stage that was taking a load of gold to Cheyenne. Not only the gold, but they also cleaned out the passengers of any cash and jewelry. All this loot was buried somewhere around Hat Creek beside a large tree where the creek made a sharp bend. Lost Treasure Number 5 This hidden gold is also known as the Graveyard Treasure. An old gold miner by the name of Carl Bufford is said to have struck it big on his claim on Storm Mountain in the Black Hills. It is said he buried a large amount of gold in a cemetery near the town of Rockerville. Rockerville today is just a ghost town, so this gold could be buried in any old graveyard around there. It is also rumored that he buried more gold than he could carry himself, so that would be a lot of gold. I hope you enjoyed this short story about these lost treasures in the Dakotas. Please like, share, and subscribe so we can continue to bring you more old lost mine stories.